Welcome back to DXV Today. It's now time for that Juggy D interview that we've all been waiting for. So I, um, I got into music from a very, very young age. I was uh, probably about three or four years old, um, traveling to India with my family, and, and I became very attracted to the culture, the Punjabi music, and my virsa, um, and everything about it. So, you know, um, it, just, it was just inbuilt from a very, very young age, being, being exposed to Indian culture and traveling to India, born in UK and then traveling to India. And as I was growing up, I, I got more and more into it. Um, I think by the age of about eight or nine, I was buying cassettes of um, uh, um, artists that were popular at the time. So I'm into a lot of folk Punjabi music and stuff like that. Um, and that's where this passion started. And then my first ever stage performance was at the age of 11 at high school, when I first entered high school here. Yeah. And that was it. That was, for me, that was the turning point. My cultural roots, well, I'm, I'm Punjabi music, so you know my, my cultural roots are going to be in uh, all over my songs because um, I'm I'm a Desi and Punjabi boy at heart, you know, and uh, I'm a Pendu at heart, really. Um, if you want to, some people call it freshy or whatever. I'm born in the UK, but I'm my my Del Punjabi. So you know, we try and have um, everything. Uh, about our culture and everything um, like stamped all over my music. So even though I, I fuse with urban and hip hop and R&B, um, I will always sing in Punjabi. Not really, no, it was a, it was a gradual um, love for music from a very young age, um, which I already mentioned, and then competition at school. And then, then I started singing. I, I had a band um, after that, and I started singing and performing at a lot of venues. Yeah, and then I was introduced to um, Rishi. Rishi, um, I was introduced to him, and um, that was it. Like, you know, uh, like they say, the rest is history. He gave me my first opportunity, and we did a song called Nejina, and that was 2002. Uh, so I just released a, a brand new song um, just a couple of months ago. That was uh, Rishi's production, Jay Sean's on there, me. Um, and it's a song that we did after eight years. The last one was Freak. And um, yeah, so that was, uh, that was just being released uh, on my own YouTube channel, Jaggy D TV. And there's another song on there called Dede Art. So in the last three, two months, I've, I've released two new songs. And I've got about, probably about 12 new songs ready, sitting there waiting to be released. It's definitely a, a, a fusion that has been kind of meaning to happen for a very, very long time. And it just needed a few artists to kind of break through. It's been a, you know, everybody, there's people that have influenced um, along the way, you know. Uh, before us, there was Apache Indian, there was Taz and people like that, and Bali Sagu, you know, they made big marks on the mainstream industry. Um, and then you had us guys and people like Raghav and, you know, um, there was, there was, so many things that have happened over the years that have had a turning point and made Asians cool and made them come into the mainstream. And now you've had people like Diljeet and AP and, you know, Diljeet at Coachella was just, was massive, you know, and that went, that's when everybody went, okay, we need to work with these guys because the numbers in India are phenomenal as well. You know, it's, it's an honor to be here and to be able to showcase my music at Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai. Dubai is like a second home to me. Um, I have a family home here and uh, I've been coming here for 20 years. Um, every year I do numerous shows. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's an honor to be here at Coca-Cola Arena today. The pride of Savile in London and, of course, the pride of Punjabi music right here in Dubai over the summer months as well. Sharing the bill with uh, Jay Sean and others uh, in what has been a sort of unique summer in more ways than one. And long may that continue. Now, what's next? Make sure you support us from wherever you're watching this right now. We're asking you to head down to our YouTube page, if you can. Lots of behind-the-scenes uh, content from our studios here in Dubai, plus uh, all of our celebrity interviews like that one and more. So make sure you subscribe. It's uh, youtube.com backslash at Dubai one. Also follow us on our Instagram and make sure to use the hashtag DXB today to get in touch with us. It's a wrap from us today, but join us again tomorrow for another jam-packed episode as we discuss the education trends.
Enjoyed that one. Thanks very much indeed. But now for something we've been promising you all evening. A performance from one of Dubai's hottest bands out there with the bare necessities. It is Hot Rodney. Good night. Necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities. That's why the bear so dressed at ease with just the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam. I couldn't be fonder of my big home. The bees are buzzing in the tree to make some honey just for me. You look under those rocks and plants and take a glance at those fancy ants and maybe try a few. The bare necessities of life will come to you. So just relax in my backyard. If you act like that, be act. You work too hard. Don't spend your time just looking around. If something you want can't be found, you find out you can live without it. Then go along, not thinking about it. I'll tell you something true. The bare necessities of life will come to you. Will come to me. Will come to us. Will come to them. The bare necessities of life will come to you.